Hi everyone, my name's Caro. I'm a fourth year computer science major. Hi, my name is Joy Fan. I am a first year studying computer science at Case Western. Hi, my name is Annika Washburn and I am a fourth year CS student here at Case. Hi, my name is Arohi Mehta. Um, I'm currently a freshman studying computer science. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Joey and I'm a computer science major and first year at Case Western Reserve University. Hi everyone, my name is Quinn and I'm a sophomore studying computer science at Case Western. And I think that Case Western students kind of fit that stereotype where they're nerdy, smart. I don't think that they're as socially awkward as I expected. Um, there's definitely some aspects of it, but I feel like Case Western students overall are just so nice and very considerate and always willing to kind of give back. Students at Case are portrayed to be intelligent, determined, hardworking nerds with no social life. I would agree that we are intelligent, determined, and hardworking nerds, but we do have a social life. I promise I have friends. Um, and although we are studying a lot and uh, learning a lot, we also have a social life and like to enjoy our college experience. Some people feel like they need to have so much experience before they come here pursuing a CS major. Let me tell you, that is not at all true. Because personally, um, I came in with zero experience, and although I would say you have to put in a lot of work and hours to really get yourself like a good grade, but it's not like a requirement to come in with like years of experience or like taking class in high school. But it is very um, intimidating going into comp sci when you feel like everyone else around you has experience. And let me just say you will end up working harder than the people around you and you will um you may even end up doing better than them just because they think they already know what they're doing there are a lot of uh communities that are dedicated to women i'm in a bunch uh there's alpha there's rewriting the code there is uh, anitab.org who hosts grace hopper every year which is a conference where a bunch of employers show up it is a conference based on increasing uh, hiring of women in tech companies, so a lot of people will find internships there. There are different groups like CWRU, uh, Soft Society of Women Engineers, the SWE group, um, there's Wiser, uh, there's Girls Who Code, which is what I'm a part of, um, and then there's also Women in Tech, which is a big initiative to um, get females involved in different organizations and give them opportunities for professional development. Um, I know there aren't a lot of uh, computer science role models that are women um, so it's hard to see uh, to, or to look at a male dominated field and uh, see someone who looks like you. Professor Kapasolu has always been a staunch supporter of this. Uh, she founded Women in Tech at Case um, and her work is extraordinary. Uh, I uh, really enjoyed my um, initial into the Java class uh, because the professor was incredible and I really loved having He was such a big advocate for women in STEM, which is something that I am a part of and it's just uh, really great to have a professor who really promotes that. Right. This is not um, a major for anyone who isn't willing to put in the work. And I think that the women in CS who I know are incredibly capable and people who I'm very lucky to count as friends. As a woman in STEM at Case, uh, sometimes things do get rough, I won't lie. Uh, I know for me personally, um, imposter syndrome is hard to avoid as a CS, um, especially as a female CS student. I remember being, feeling like I was stupid, feeling like I was incompetent and bad at things, and then looking around and seeing other women succeeding and being extremely happy for them without really a selfish regard and then having that reflected back at me from them. That all of us know this struggle, all of us know the problems that we've had and truly, at least personally, I don't wanna see anyone else go through that. I want to make sure the next person after me doesn't go through that. And um, so the communities that we build are very strong. Men in CS often talk down to you. Um, I wouldn't say often, but it does happen. But that's where you just hold your ground and uh, you show them that you're just as, uh, valued and um, at the same or higher level than them um, CS wise so you just have to hold your own there. And there's a great support system within women in computer science and women in STEM in general. I uh, think that the case community here is actually very supportive. They very, everyone's competitive, everyone's very 
hardworking and driven, but I guess it doesn't make it a toxic environment. I have met incredible people at Case Western. Um, I have met some of the most passionate, some of the most um, intelligent, yet and collaborative people and I'm so glad to be part of this environment like the case has like a small and close-knit community where you like really get to know one another before coming in here I didn't expect to like be able to walk around and see so many familiar faces it kind of adds that sense of community um and also I really love how pretty the buildings are and how pretty the campus is um it just makes the whole the walk to the quad a lot better so yeah yeah it's it's hard work, but it's very, very worth it at the end. And I think it's, um, especially since I'm a graduating senior, I look back and it was a grueling four years, but very worth it.